Mike Renner here talking about the Houston Texans future Hall of Famer, J.J. Watt, and why he was back to his best this past season. In recent years with the Texans, they've been using him inside a lot. He's, you know, that prototypical 3-4 defensive end where he lines up along the tackle or sometimes between the tackle and the guard. But this past season, he played more snaps than ever before from a wide alignment. As you can see here, left outside, well outside the tackle shoulder. And I think the biggest reason for this was just those injuries taking a toll and him not having to hold up to those double teams on the inside could help save his body. And he has a sort of skill set that can translate anywhere up and down the line of scrimmage, still rush the passer, still affect the running game. And the fact that they took him out more and that he kept him fresh from this alignment, you saw J.J. Watt back to his best, back to similar to what we saw from him back in years like 2014 where he also played a lot of snaps out wide. But like I said, never as much as he did this past season. And that's where you can see the real power takeover. He's lost a little bit of the quickness, but on the outside, he can still win with his hands, still win with that prodigious power that he has. And if you'll run it here, you see that bull rush is just too much for offensive tackles. He has too much length, too much explosiveness in his upper body. When he gets his hands on you first and he charges through the offensive tackles chest like that, there's not a lot of offensive linemen in the NFL that are going to be able to hold up to him. What's maybe most impressive about Watt's return was how his lower body flexibility was still there. He could still bend and dip under offensive tackles, even after that gruesome knee injury, that terrible back injury that debilitated him over the past couple seasons. As you'll see, if you run this rep right here, it really didn't affect him there on the outside. A one swipe gets underneath the offensive lineman, still see that sort of flexibility. Now again, I think some of his explosiveness is gone. It's never gonna come back. You're not gonna be 27 years old in your prime again, but he still has enough flexibility and enough you know, use of his arms and that sort of innate talent to win at a very high level. Once again, you see Watt lined up left outside defensive end, and this is a sort of schematic adjustment that I don't think the Texans are going to want to change anytime soon. I think he is going to be their left you know, defensive end for the foreseeable future. They're not going to even think about kicking him back inside because of this right here. The one is the protecting him from injury, and two is you just get him matched up with tight ends so much more on the outside. And a lot of bigger defensive ends, one of their biggest problems is they can't rush the passer from that weight on the outside. Yes, they can beat up tight ends, but they're not going to offer much as a pass rusher. Watt obviously doesn't has that problem as we've seen but then he gets these mismatches in the run game where a 290 pounder against a 245 ish pounder here at tight end is an automatic win for the defense if you'll run it here just zero chance to block jj watt he really doesn't even do anything special there he just is too big too fast and too strong for the tight end and of course, J.J. Watt still did play over 200 snaps, lined up over the offensive tackle this past season. And yes, that patented inside-out move is still there. He still made our defensive line prototype for the 4 or 5 technique in the NFL for this upcoming season, which you go check out the video on our YouTube channel. Here he is. This is the move he's known for, if you'll run it here. Just the quick inside out. He gets from one shoulder of an offensive lineman to the other, better than any defensive lineman I can remember in NFL history. He is just that good with his hands, still has that quickness. Maybe the burst might not be quite there that we saw in his prime, but man, he still is one of the best defensive ends in the NFL. Let us know where you think J.J. Watt ranks among all defensive players in the NFL in the comments below, and like and subscribe for future videos.